that's how it started. Her old man tries to kill Menendez. Menendez wants payback, even if it takes decades. Menendez, back then, was a, uh, a big fish in a small pond. He made his cake on the drug cartel out of Nicaragua. There's a hand-me-down. Mm-hmm. The CIA smoked his old man. Old Cyclops is pretty pissed at America. While we're fucking around in the Middle East, the Russians and the Chinese are getting real cozy. Huh. Now, the politicians, they want you to think this is about ideology. It's a lot of horse shit. Give me your phone. Go ahead. Rare Earth Elements. Whole fucking world runs on this shit. <laughs> Who controls all of it? China. So while corporate America is kissing China's ass... Now the mysterious Cordes Dia social network has crowdsourced simultaneous protests in both Iran and North Korea. Never seen in public, who really is the leader of Cordes Dia? He's known only as Odysseus. Odysseus? My ass. <laughs> Raul fucking Menendez. Asshole. I told JSOC, but they were too busy. See, the drone race had started. I mean, really, guys? You're gonna build an entire military based on a mineral element that's wholly controlled by China? I need a drink. Dipshit. No, oh, God. Give me a soda. Get it from the nurse's stash. None of that diet crap. China's Premier Chen is outraged by Cortez Diaz's leaked memo, alleging the cyber attack was covertly ordered by the White House. And through all the dirty shit the U.S. government's gotten away with, this time, they're innocent, and no one fucking believes them. They take out Cortez Diaz's network. Two days later, the director of the FBI burned alive. Right now, a billion people believe that Raul Menendez is their savior. Shh. Guess what, boys? He's not. You better take him out pretty fucking quick. That shit's gonna happen. Alrighty, and we're back with some Black Ops 2. Hey guys, um, so to start off the video, uh, I left you guys in the home screen. Um, that's what you get every time you uh, go to a mission, or you're gonna start a mission. It takes you back to the home screen, so I, I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, I just wanted to say that um, if you guys don't want to see that, you know, you can let me know. I'll probably just show it just this time. It won't go on to any other ones. Uh, sorry if it does. <laughs> but um, at the end of every mission, you get taken back to the home screen. That way you get to select your loadout for the next mission like you saw. And you could customize your weapons or you could customize your secondaries or whatever it is. And uh, sorry, I'm hiring the volume. That way you guys can hear a little bit better. But, um, that's what you get to do every time, or every mission. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. And, uh, this mission actually blew my mind, because you actually get to use, like, these, uh, gliders or wingsuits. Um, so, yeah, like, I don't know. Every time I played the mission, I would just be like, oh my god, this is, like, badass. Like, the first time, I just, oh my god. Every time, it gets me. <laughs> But um yeah. So far so, so right good. Now we're doing some rock climbing, so I thought that was pretty cool. Ready? And uh so um would you guys like to see okay, shot, some more turn. uh like um zombies or would you like to see some multiplayer or anything like that? Uh, I'll probably be posting time. videos of what I want to do anyways, but uh, I I just like to get the audience's uh um uh, feedback. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh I don't know. This mission was actually pretty cool because um, you get this like, I think I pull it out right now or something, I don't know. It's like um, a three round burst uh, sticky grenade launcher or I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I thought it was pretty cool. And I'm probably going to be doing okay. some uh, Thanks to you. more things live because as I'm doing it, uh, not... Ah. Um, <laughs> Sorry, uh, I can't get my words right. Uh, <laughs> When I'm doing this not live, sure when I'm did. like, this isn't live, like I'm not doing this live, but when I do it live, I, I kind of have more of a feeling, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like noble. I don't know, That's what Menendez I get wants more excited, to I get, Trust I don't know, me. It isn't. <laughs> but I'm um, right here, here we go bitches! Crosby, you're up. 
Oh, what the fuck? You were supposed to jump. <laughs> I think that was pretty badass when it does that. And I'm like, what? One, a two. Here we go. Geronimo! Alright, let's go, bitch. Woo! <laughs> oh my god, this is so badass. Like, like every time I see this, or every time I play this mission, I, I just always smile at this because it's so awesome. Turn! Turn! <laughs> it's awesome, you guys have no idea. Like, for those who are still uh, skeptical about getting the game, I I'd suggest getting it. It's a pretty good game. I think so. The multiplayer is a little bit buggy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't know, it kind of has like a Call of Duty 4 feel to it because of the way the grenades blow up like if you're far away from the grenade and the grenade indicators like just left your map or like your visual and you can't see the grenade indicator it'll and if it blows up like as soon as you leave I'm good. Uh, it still kills Cells you which I don't, I don't really you like got the that. Left side? I, don't, I don't know what they were thinking <laughs> Ready on your goal. there it is that's it that sticky grenade launch <sighs> I don't know what it was called though I forgot but um Someone told me you can actually get a minigun, or you can unlock the minigun, but I don't know how to yet. So when I do, I'll be sure I'm to in. show you guys. And you know, Enemies preparing to leave pretty location. sure there's something Advise. already up, but I, I still want to show you guys. I think that'll be pretty cool. <laughs> but um, anyways, so would you guys like to see that? The I don't know if I talked about it in my Halo 4 yeah. video or in some move other on my video. Kill. That guy just went down. An EMP like grenade with cloaking AK. systems. Oh. But, um, would you guys like to see, uh, two people go up against, uh, like, uh, 16 people in a team deathmatch or something? Something like that. I don't know. Something like that. You know, would you guys like to, or would you guys like to be a part of it, too? That, that'd be pretty interesting, you know, get the, get the audience to interact, get the audience to be in a video, you know? Um, I'll, I'll probably be hosting that very soon. I'll probably, you know, send a message to my friends, you know, after this, but, uh, I don't know. I think that'd be really interesting. That'd be, that'd be pretty crazy, actually. I haven't seen really too many people do that and actually post it or, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> oh, God. I, I have a lot of fun, like, uh, recording and, and talking with you guys. I think it's really cool. Oh, and another thing, if you're ever playing campaign and you like playing campaign, be on the lookout for some crate looking objects because they're like placed throughout the campaign or every mission and a lot of people don't seem to notice them. They're like uh, ammo things, or I'm, I'm sorry, ammo things, ammo crates. You can keep getting ammo from, so you know, you want to be on the lookout for that. I shot my gun. <laughs> But um, you, you want to be on the lookout for that. And uh, whenever you're in your loadout, you're doing your uh, attachments and you're equipping all this and that, make sure to have that, that little kit, that little kit equipped always because in every mission, you could see how it says access. You need like a, a kit selected just to be able to access those throughout the, the game. So you want to make sure that's equipped. And uh, for my loadout, I believe I have uh, fast hands, and uh, I don't, I don't know what it was called. I think it's like uh, all-purpose access kit, or I don't know something. Access kit, something with access kit. This guy just got mowed down by the minigun. Look at that, tearing shit up. Oh my god, look at that. I'm about to destroy that jeep. Woo! <laughs> I'm not even playing, but I'm still having fun. Uh, so I have a, I, I have a, a pretty Move tough time, you know, every day, getting out of bed, going to the refrigerator. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, so anyways, um, I think I talked about it previous, previous videos about how I'm gonna go back to work. So uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. I think so. I'm gonna be getting some new stuff for you guys, getting some new stuff for me. <laughs> taking taking people places, going places, getting some new games for you guys. It's gonna be pretty chill. That, that'd be pretty awesome. Like, how would it be if you walked into like a, a Walmart and you're with your parents or something, or if you're just by yourself 
and you're in the electronic session or if you're in like a GameStop or a Target or you know wherever you live or you know wherever you get your games you go there right and then you just see some dude walk in he looks normal right and then he's just like okay I want this game I want that game I want that game I want that game and he just buys it just just like nothing <laughs> What would you think? What would be going through your mind? You're just watching him just buy a bunch of games just at once, like in bulk. Next day. I don't know. That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty weird. I'm thinking about doing that like one of these days, just walking into like a GameStop or something, picking out a bunch of games and just buying them all. <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. And um, as you can see back there, or when I uh, when I was at the ammo crate. I think I go back to there's like a C4 on the wall. See that shit? Someone try to get me with that. <laughs> um, would you guys like? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm at a loss of words. I'm like, I'm paying attention to the to the screen, but I'm also trying to talk. <laughs> I was never good at that. There's gotta be more to this facility underground. Watch this. Cracking this is section. Do that wall up. Surface installation is neutralized. Moving to investigate Let's go. secondary Let's go. structure. Go in. Watch your step. There's like a, me if we can the structure. There's like a little door or something. You can hear like a bunch of voices. I don't know if it's like an Easter egg. I thought it was right there, that's why I kinda stood quiet. But I don't even know if it's in this mission though. So uh, I'm kinda skeptical. <laughs> I'm at a loss of words. When do they start talking? I keep thinking they're gonna talk right now, so I'm like Holy stuttering. Shit. Oh, here we go. Look at this. What we saw up top was just a front. Walls are several meters thick. We lose comms inside. 